<laughs> Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand four big mistakes that women unconsciously make that push love and men away, please stick around because I'm going to be sharing just that on our episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to come today. It's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And I'm very excited and grateful to be able to talk to you today about four big mistakes that women unconsciously make that push men and love away. One of the beautiful blessings that I get from being in this vantage point, if you could call it that, of connecting with so many women who want to create the love that they want and for whatever reason they can't, and guiding them through the process of rediscovering who they are and finally getting what they want is the understanding of patterns of behavior that create specific results, including attracting love or pushing away love. So when you connect to, for example, to give you a sample, 100 women and each one of them has a different love challenge, those love challenges are really maybe five or six or seven different patterns that create those results, sometimes in combination. So what I'm gonna be sharing with you today is four of those patterns that create that pushing love away, not getting the kind of amazing man to show up in your life the way you want to, and not even understanding why, okay? The first one is the first pain or the first mistake that women make that push love away and push amazing guys out of their life is not valuing themselves enough or recognizing what they have to offer as women. Here's the biggest thing about the whole thing. <laughs> if you understand who you are on paper, but when push comes to shove and you connect to a man, you feel somehow that if he were to really see you, if you were to connect to your heart, if you were to take everything off, metaphorically speaking, that what he would find is something that he wouldn't want to stay and stick around with, if you have that deep fear inside, that usually will represent itself in you not showing up with as much strength or as much flexibility or as much openness or as much light or as much value. So connecting to worth, failing to connect to their worth, it's a big, big mistake women make. Here's why. Because not only does it, doesn't, does it not allow you to show up as amazing as you are, but also inherent in that value in yourself is taking less than you deserve in terms of respect, in terms of valuing, somebody valuing, in terms of aliveness, in terms of passion, in terms of pursuit, in terms of follow through, in terms of honesty. You start making compromises because you feel somehow inside yourself that unless you make those compromises, the man will leave. So big mistake is not connecting to the value that you have to offer or knowing it intellectually or knowing it on paper, but not feeling it in your heart, feeling that you have to change something about you before you're fully worthy of love, whether that's your shape or your size or your income, not understanding that who you are today is amazing and worthy of love at the deepest level. Number two is failure to strengthen their intuitive wisdom. A lot of women don't understand that intuition is incredibly similar to exercising a physical muscle. So if you want to grow your biceps, you exercise them, right? You lift weights. But what happens when you stop exercising? Well, your biceps don't just stop growing, they start diminishing in size, right? Through time. When you are a woman who has learned through pain, through this doggy dog world that we live in, that the way to get ahead is to think more than feel, your intuition continues to talk to you. So your intuition is telling you, you connect to a guy and it's telling you, this guy is creepy, get away, or this guy is lying to you, or this guy, there's something off, right? This red flags that your intuition is telling you, you don't get a chance to follow through on them when you push down your, intu your intuition. And what happens is when you do this enough times for a long period of time, next time you connect to someone, you are desensitized to that. So it's almost like you don't even hear what your heart is telling you and inevitably you experience pain. So failure to strengthen your intuitive wisdom is a big mistake women make because it doesn't allow them to see the truth about someone's integrity, somebody's intentions, somebody's primary focus, whether it's selfish or selfless. Those are things you can only see with your heart and your heart is very connected to your intuition. Number four, number three, I'm sorry, is choosing a man. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen this happen and how many times this ends in pain, almost every single time. Choose a man before he chooses you, okay? When you make the decision that any given guy is worth it, he is the guy that you wanna connect with, 
before he is, has proven himself to you or he's made the decision about you for himself, there's a humongous likelihood you'll experience pain. Why? Because you're going to stop being you and you're going to start doing little things to get his attention, to get his interest, to tell him almost like it's almost like when a, when a car salesman says buy this car buy this car buy this car you do things that metaphorically speaking that show that energy to him like he has to like uh, please love me please connect with me and whenever you do something like that uh, the guy usually doesn't want to stick around so you're pushing him away more than you're pulling him close the, the antidote to that is wait until a guy claims his stake in the sand and says I want to own your heart he may not say it in words although he might but he, when he shows it you in action, at that point, decide that that's the guy you want to be with. Because if a guy, as amazing as he is on paper, doesn't have that quintessential quality of choosing you, then you will never be happy with that guy. And you're always going to be doing things to push him away. Number four is not being willing to pay the price. And if you listen to nothing else I've said on any of my videos, but you listen to this, I think you'll be, worth, <laughs> you'll be served in a great way. Because here's the thing. If, you, if I've told you that I want to start a business, but I don't want to risk not having an income or that I don't want to risk losing money, then you say you're crazy because being in business means that you have to take some level of risk. Now, that can be an intelligent risk. It can be a measured risk, but it still is a freaking risk. I could still lose money, right? Now, here's the situation. Most women who are not getting the love they want, who are pushing love away, they have this level of comfort that they're willing to go through in terms of opening their hearts in terms of trusting themselves, in terms of doing things outside their comfort zone, in terms of stop telling themselves lies and stories that are keeping them small, in terms of knowing their worth. So there's many things that you have to do to get love at the deepest level, not just to get a boyfriend, but to get love that lasts, that's fulfilling, that lasts for a lifetime. You, and, and the same thing for a guy, but you, if you're a woman listening to me, there's many things you, you have to do to create an amazing relationship. There's a high price to pay, but it's worth it. Now, most women who push love away aren't ultimately willing to pay the price. The price of being vulnerable, the price of taking a risk, the price of being hurt again. And if you're unwilling to pay the price, then you cannot get the reward. So short term, you will experience some pain, but long term, you can get everything you want. So that, there you have it, four big reasons why women push love away. And if you find this is helpful, useful, insightful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like in this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, underneath this video, or on the link here, on the description of the video, or on the link here on your screen, you'll see a box that shows up with a link that allows you to sign up to a free live webinar that will help you to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful and it's free. As always, if you have any questions for me, write a comment below and let me know and I'll either answer personally or create a video just for you. Thank you so much for connecting with me and I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.